I want to make sure that people think that I'm sane. People think that I'm okay or think that I'm normal or think that I'm acceptable or something like that. I just, it's like, I want to make sure, make sure you all know that, that I still have my wits about me, even though like my mental cognitive capacities have really declined, but I'm still, guys, I'm still here. You know, like I don't want to act too crazy, just a little bit crazy enough so that it's relatable to a large swath of the population. And, you know, I don't want to be one of those people who goes off the deep end, you see it all the time. And you think, oh, they went off the deep, oh God. Um, I don't want to get lost on, I mean, I am, I mean, uh, <laughs> so infuriating. I just want to be normal. I just want to be, yeah, I, I want people to look at me and say, oh, you know what? They're fine. They're good. You know, I want that approval. I want that validation. I want that like acceptance. Um, Cause that's all that it is. You know what I mean? Like if you're in a group and you're accepted within the group, whatever, you're all, all those, all those people are the same in that group, not the same, but you know what I mean? Like it, you're protected, you're kept, you're held, you're seen, you're held, you, you're um, accountable to a certain countenance or a certain face or mask with some leeway, but you know, it's gotta be within the bounds of what the group considers acceptable. And it gives you a sense of sanity, a sense of identity, a sense of belonging that you don't have to sit here and question yourself like in a dark room, oh, where am I, who am I, what's going on? You don't have to ask those questions. You might still, but you don't necessarily have to. Or it, um, I don't have a group that I'm in. I don't have any no one is telling me what to do. And there's never been an instruction manual for anything. There's no path that I'm following that has been laid out before me or that's been um, navigated before. It's always uncharted territory. And sometimes I worry that I am navigating further and further into the depths of, no, that's not true. You know what? Don't, don't second guess yourself. Don't sell yourself short. I have to believe that this journey that I'm on, cause I'll hear people sometimes will say, oh, well, you know, you, you just used help or if you'd accepted help from this person, that person, you, you're making it too hard on yourself. That's what they, that's what they don't say that. But I, I sometimes identify with that. Like, no, I have to make, <laughs> Shit. I have to make this journey that I'm on, which is seemingly so complicated and so convoluted and so difficult. I have to make it make sense and I have to make it worth it. I have to make it worth it. Like if I've done all this for nothing, <laughs> shit. if I've done all this for nothing and I could have healthily uh, arrived at a sooner point in time, like when my body was younger and more at like, whatever. Um, won't that, you know what? Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Thoughts. These are all just tricks. <laughs> all these thoughts are just tricks. That's all I'm saying. You're not going to trick me brain. Um, I'm just going to keep going down this path. I'm just going to keep going. Try to maintain my hold on whatever I consider to be sanity because I have fears. I've always had fears of losing control and not having a safety net and being stuck homeless on the streets where I don't know that I would survive very well. Or back in the day when they had insane asylums and being stuck in a place like that. And it's like, I want to be able to have the experience of undifferentiated, um, unburdened reality and that freedom while somehow being able to contain it within a mind that is big enough to hold it, which I don't know that you could <laughs> trying to make your mind big enough to hold everything. That is really 
feels that feels a little bit beyond um 